Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Steph Spacek and welcome back to Let's Play the Deadly Tower of Monsters. So, apparently I'm in a little bit of trouble there. You see the little ant coming over to say hi. That's just not good. Ugh. Anyway, last time we found our trusty robot companion and uh, had to save Dick again. Instead of being attacked by a giant gorilla, he's being attacked by a flying ant. A nuclear ant. So... Uh, we also picked up the little time warp thing that adjusts stuff. Riveting commentary. Anyway, we need that to get past the, the blades on the fan. Okay, let's go. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. You're an ant. You don't shoot me. I shoot you. <laughs> no ant is a match for... Ow, jerk. No ant can match me for my awesomeness. I am a giant robot, after all. Or a regular, human-sized robot. Not giant at all. Uh, we gotta make our way all the way back over there. Ah, jerk. Yeah. He had that one coming. Go away. Okay. This is the way I need to go. Looks appropriate. That's right, I got a teleporter. I forgot I had a teleporter. Awesome. Made it. Yeah. What the heck? Oh my, this doesn't look at all comforting. What the heck? Whoa. Whoa. I don't like it. I don't like it. Go away, giant robot spawning, or ape spawning robots. <laughs> so, I have a funny idea. Uh, these rickety old things, the higher up they went, the more they sounded like they were going to fall apart. I'm amazed that no one ever got hurt, or worse, riding these things. Well, there was the actor we originally cast for this uh -oh. role, but, uh, we don't talk about it. <laughs> anyway, so that was the idea I had. Apparently, I'm going to have to, if I want to get all the gears and stuff, I'm going to have to start jumping off cliffs. Which is dangerous for a person with my bloodline. And... Achoo. Oh, that looks like a giant snake. I wonder if we have to fight a giant snake. I always wanted to fight a giant snake. <laughs> I'm hip and with it, kids. I will electrocute you. Oh, are we there? Oh. I wanted to go even higher. Huh. 
Alright, come on, pterodactyls. Get your butts up here so I can shoot ya. Yeah, maybe we gotta aim down. I'll aim down. Shooting fish in a barrel. Which, incidentally, I hear is actually kind of impossible. Or at least not as easy as they make it seem. I used to watch Mythbusters. They were fun. Okay. No more? Come on, I want to shoot one more. Too bad. Oh, look, the door's open now. Oh, no. The giant ape is back. Higher? Oi. Alright, up to the lava. Oh dude, we're gonna have to run. I don't wanna run. I'm not good at this running thing. Especially when I can't actually run. I have to move at one speed. What's with the laser beams? I don't like the laser beams. In, 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 in. <laughs> moving on up, moving on up. Oh, geez. Oh, no. Ow, my eyes. <laughs> Quite shocking, wouldn't you say, Mr. Ape Fella? laser beams out of here. Quickly, quickly now. Actually built sets back then. Props, walls, you name it. Then you moved bits and pieces around and created whole new scenes. We were efficient. I adopted that technique to my wardrobe too. If you mixed and matched efficiently, you could get by for years on only a handful of shirts and underwear. Heck yeah, that's what I do. I don't have very many clothes either. Because I'm cheap. Boink. Now you jerk. Move. Oh, now you go the other way. Oh no. My eyes. Oh look, I'm up now. Yay. Buddy. Yeah, you think you got this? You ain't got nothing. Ah, now he's got white apes on his team. Ah, that's no good. <laughs> it's a good thing they're dumb and like to hit each other. <laughs> I got him to hit his body. Jerk. Stop it. Ah. He's got no life bar, people. He needs a life bar. Oh, I guess I beat him. Yay. Oh. Took damage. I probably should have used my jetpack. <laughs> King of the Tower. Ooh, look at those eyes. No. New lands. Ooh, silver cog. Maybe not new lands. 
You know what? I hate you, Trusty. Let's go back to Scarlet. We like Scarlet. She's fun. Be just my luck, I'm gonna need to plant an explosive or something. Wink. And away. Modern science fiction directors sometimes put the lens flare in on purpose. Why on earth? What's the next trend? Dead fly on the lens? <laughs> Ew. You won't believe me, but you just watch, it'll happen. Some big shot will do it for one scene, and the following year, everyone will be doing it. Or it'll be an accident, and somebody will be like, Oh, look, it looks so nice. Let's do that for our movie, because we are such followers. Or we're so darn original. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Ugh. Don't fall. Part 2, in which our heroes venture into the Deadly Red Palace. Neat. I wasn't expecting to get somewhere new. Not the Megamelian. Macamillion. Yeah, good old Ludwig. We cast an actual doctor to play Dr. Peculiar. Well, that's slightly Never odd. Again. Oh my god, he was a cranky old coot. May he, um, uh, rest in peace. Oh. The costumes, the script, the creature effects, you name it, he wouldn't stop criticizing everything. Well, in his defense, I think he did have some early signs of dementia or something. He was always getting lost on set, forgetting his lines, making up new ones. Yeah, it was cute. Midway through a scene, he'd just yell, Her on my pills! <laughs> it was like a catchphrase. We almost left a few of them in. Uh-huh. Hey, look, a sword. Nice. Ooh. Bronze Simta. Oh, Jesus. I guess that's the Mechameleon, huh? You're so creepy looking. Elevator! Lift, I need lift! Obvious weak points. I say that the incredible job the animators did with the King Gorilla can only be outdone by their work in the Mechameleon. I'll leave further comments for later in the film, but this was truly an epic creation! Truly. <laughs> beware of the Emperor's Galps. Okay. I shall beware them. And on that note, we will leave this episode here. <sighs> Moving on up the tower, man. Just a little bit further. I wonder how, how many parts are into the movie. Maybe a uh, uh, movie. I wonder how many parts are into this game. Maybe I'll, I'll look that up later, see how many parts there are. But I don't want spoilers, so I gotta be careful. I'm sure you understand. Spoilers are dangerous. I knew a guy once who had a movie spoiled for him. Bam! The next day, he woke up with a headache. Shameful. Anyway, so, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and poke that like button for me. If you feel the need to, go ahead and comment down below. You know I'll read it and I'll comment back. And, uh, yeah. Tune in next time when we're going to keep moving on up and see where we can get from here. And uh, until then, night. <clears throat> Let me try that again. Night. There we go. <laughs> Make me sound more like a man.